Hey guys, I'm CMA Supra, and welcome to another War Thunder Realistic Battle. This battle is the Americans and British versus the Germans, and it is very much a jet game. On the German side, uh, five out of the six players are in ME163 Comets, and the sixth player is in a TA152. On my team, four out of the six players are in Shooting Stars, and the other two are in one Meteor F3, which is a British jet, and a B-24 bomber, which is an American bomber that is very much not a jet. It is very slow. <laughs> So uh, this battle was mainly FADC Shooting Stars versus ME163 Comets because that's what most teams were, most of the two teams were made up of, and I found it to be a very, very fun game. Now and I wanted to show you guys how you can beat Comets with FADC Shooting Stars because it's actually quite easy, I have found. This is by far not the first game I've done this in, it's just the best example of a game in which I have done it. So. Uh, I'm climbing up here looking for enemies. I'm not climbing too seriously, as you can see, because altitude doesn't really make too much of a difference in jet games, I have noticed. I mean, it does kind of matter, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't matter all that much, and so I'm not really worried about altitude here. What I'm trying to do is just find enemies to kill, get into a dogfight with them, and then kill them, because that's what I like to do. You can see I have a teammate, FADC, down there, pretty much down at the deck, and there we go, our first enemy, ME163. And note that his name is Cub OK. That will become important here pretty soon. Uh, so this ME163 and I are pretty close to each other. We go head on, although neither one of us shoots the other guy. And he does a kind of a spin and stays in front of my guns. I fire, get a bit of a lucky hit there, and damage his elevator. And then, oh, he's he was being bait. There was somebody behind me. No, dodge. I don't know what's behind me, but dodge it. As it turned out to be, it was actually an ME163 that's behind me. But uh, I don't know what it is right now. I'm just trying to dodge it, make myself hard to hit, things like that. And what is it? It's in. Oh, I can't see. I'm blacked out. Come on, tell me what it is. ME163, and it is Crino. Okay, good to know. So I feel like I should talk a bit about the advantages and disadvantages of the ME163 versus a shooting star. On the deck, an ME163 is slower than a shooting star, which is why you see me here going to the deck, and then I'm going straight level, and he is slower than me. That is a great advantage for this plane. Faster planes tend to win in battles, depending on how the battle really happens. But uh, on the deck, in this, well, on the deck in most cases, the F-80C shooting star will be faster than an ME163. And so I am able to run away from this guy, even though he got the jump on me, and actually slightly damaged my right wing. So he breaks off, and he's going somewhere else. I'm slowly pulling up here, because I don't want to lose too much speed, although I do have a lot of speed that I can use to climb back up and get some altitude over the ME163. Another advantage that the FADC has over the ME163 is fuel. So if you have an ME163 on your tail because it's more maneuverable than you are, you want to just dive down like I did against this guy, against Crino, and make them go low, because altitude is the only thing that will get them back to their base if they run out of fuel. And they run out, they, they run out of fuel pretty often, so you want to make them go down low, make them have to go to base early, and uh, make, them hard, make it hard for them to fight that way. So we do have Cub OK here on my left side. I'm considering going down, and I do decide to actually go down and help out my teammate here. Cub OK, for, if you remember, was the guy that I critted the elevator on, so I'm not too worried about him. I was considering about killing him, but I decided, again, decided against it and decided to go after my teammate here and help out. Oh, hello there, Amy163, who's closer. I'm gonna go for you because Kanterik and his FADC is taking care of my teammate. Excellent. I'm gonna go for... Nope, uh, let's avoid the head-on. There we go. Now I'm gonna go for you, except you're turning into me, so maybe I won't go for you because I don't want to go head-on nor do I want to crash into you, nor do I want to give you an advantage of any kind. So let's go high, and he's lost all his energy, remember, so he has to use his fuel if he wants to get back up here with me. And he has very limited fuel. Oh, what is this guy doing? Making himself easy. And I critted him. I damaged his fuel tank. Excellent. He will be running low on fuel very soon here. He'll probably have to go to base now if he doesn't want to run out of fuel. They're very, very excellent. <laughs> He is essentially out of the fight, just like Cub OK is. So we're down to three enemies that we have to deal with. One of our planes, I'm not sure who that is, is that the B-24? I believe it is. He's fighting a TA-152 way over in front of me. I, need I can't really help him. He is begging for cover. Yeah, that is the B-24. He is begging for cover, but I can't uh, really help him there, because I have ME-163s to deal with. 
they are far more of a threat than the TA-152 is because the ME-163s are maneuverable and they're fast and the only real downside to them is that they're slower on the deck than an F-80C and they have six minutes of fuel. So we gotta get them to waste the six minutes of fuel. B-24 set a fire and shot down. That is not good. One of my teammates gets F2BB in his ME163, so that's another ME163 down. I get the kill on AC Gay, which is the guy who I, whose uh, fuel tank I critted. We'll have to check later if he is permanently dead or just landed at his airfield, but not quite yet because I have to deal with this other ME163. Alex Sunch, I believe is what the name was. Uh, Sunch. Let's not go for a head-on. Bad idea. <laughs> there we go. He went past us. And let's see if I can maneuver and get him to go really slowly and be easy bait for my teammates. If I can, that would be great. There we go. Give me 163 is dead. <laughs> Four of us are here maneuvering with him, but he is dead, and that is excellent. So what does that leave on the enemy team? It does not leave very much. They still have their TA-152, I believe. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe it's still alive. And they also have the ME-163, who I created at the very beginning of the game. It was Cub OK. I created his elevator. And, and uh, they also have Krino in his ME-163, although he just crashed at his airfield. So now I can see what they have left. Krino, Cock, and Cub OK. Um, Krino did just crash. He was at his airfield. He is probably repairing, and he will be respawning here once he gets a new plane. So I'm going to the enemy base to attack them. Press 7, no not 7, uh, 5. There we go. Attack the enemy base. Lots of AAA shooting at me. Not a big threat in the F-80C because this thing is so fast and AAA does not hit fast moving targets very well. One of my teammates is going for Luke. Well done, Mr. Teammate. You killed a Fokker Wolf 190A5 AI. Aircraft destroyed. Excellent. Cub OK has crashed. Is he out of his plane? No, he is not. So he is on the airfield repairing, and there you can even see him on the airfield and repairing. So, um, there, that means two planes are over here repairing. There's both Krino and Cub OK. That is my second kill this game on an ME-163, except this one is not a permadeath for Cub OK. He's still in his plane. Couple of Dornier 217s over here circling the enemy base. I'm not actually too worried about the uh, AAA at the enemy base, so I'm just going for it, but then I actually see Krino has respawned already, so let's run away to the deck, let's be fast, and get my teammates to help me out here. And... oh, hello there, Cook. What are you doing in your TA-152 right here behind me? How dare you? <laughs> and he paid for that by the Meteor F3 shooting him down very quickly. Nicely done. So what do we have left? Two ME-163s to deal with, I believe, unless I'm mistaken. Has Cub OK repaired himself? It appears he has not yet repaired himself. I don't know, though. Maybe he left his plane. Maybe he was not getting repaired. He crashed too hard. Who knows? So Krino and I just did a head-on. Uh, neither one of us shot, because neither one of us wants to die anytime soon. And then he goes, does he go for one of my teammates? No, but he goes in front of me, which is good. Oh, and he pulls up. What is he doing? What is he doing? Why is he being stupid? Oh, this plane does not want to roll. <laughs> one of the downsides to this plane is it does not like to roll. It does not like to roll at all. <laughs> all right, I'm still behind this guy. And he's making himself a hard target. He's not actually getting, getting into a turn fight, which is interesting because I am faster than he is at this altitude. I don't know why he's not getting into a turn fight, but he's not. Cub OK is still in his MD-163 coming this way. I bet uh, Krino is trying to get him, uh, Cub OK to come help him. I bet, I bet that's what's happening here. So I break off because I know that they're going to be working together. And uh, Krino was doing a good job making himself hard to hit. And I don't want to try and waste my ammo. That would just not be a smart thing to do. So I, I go high. A teammate, Kantarik in his F-ADC, is in a fight with those guys, he's in a turn fight, which is not very good to be in. Oh, can I get Cub OK? No, I can't, because he's too maneuverable and fast. Alright, let's just go around, and hopefully I'll get a shot on him. Who's in front of me here? Somebody just went behind me, that was Krino. Cub OK is in front of me. Let's go for Cub OK. 
And oh, he was he was going downwards, and I did not correct for that, so I missed those shots. And now it is time to run away because I have two of me 163s behind me, one of which is very close to me, 0.7 kilometers away. And I want to run away from him. And uh, Greeno actually ends up breaking off. He's still alive after that head-on with the FADC, I believe it was. Both these ME163s are still alive, amazingly. I wonder how much fuel they have left. I don't know. I do have the altitude advantage over these ME163s, which is excellent. So here I faked going for Cubo K, and so I'm able to get shots on Crino, and I get a few hits only, no crits, but that's fine. As far as I know, I don't actually own the plane, so I don't know this for sure, but as far as I know, it's actually a lot harder to fly a damaged ME163 than one that's undamaged. It like, doesn't like to respond at all very well. So I don't know that to be fact, but I'm pretty sure it's fact, and so any hits are a good thing on an ME163. Uh-oh, he's behind me. That is not a good thing. Let's just run away, run away, and run away. <laughs> I am down to 9 minutes of fuel, that is worth noting. I only have 20 minutes of fuel in this thing. Um, the most it comes with. How far away is this guy? He's he's far away. Let's go for Cup of K. Let's help out the Meteor. The Meteor will probably not be able to run, to run away from Cup of K because the Meteor is actually quite slow. My teammate on the in the FADC behind me is dealing with the other ME163. Um, he's dealing with it pretty well, I think. He's catching up to it as far as I know. So let's continue going for Cup OK. He pulls up. I'm sure he's wanting me to slow down so the ME163 behind me can shoot me. And does it work? Does it work out in the ME163's favor by me climbing like that? Let's turn around and find out. Oh yes, it did. He is so much closer to me now. <laughs> he was over a kilometer away before, now he's 0.8 kilometers away. Now I should mention that the ME163, who was in front of me, uh, Cubo K I believe it was, did actually kill the F-80, not the F-80C, the Meteor F-3. Uh, the Meteor F-3 ended up crashing. I'm not sure if it was because of Cubo K or not, but he did crash. So it is worth noting that. So the Meteor is now gone. It's me and Kentaric, Kentaric, something. Um, Kantaric, I believe, against these two ME163s. We just still have an, an, another F-80C alive, stuttering a bit, but he is over at our base, so he's not much of a help right now. He probably got a fuel leak or ran out of ammo or something, who knows. Maybe he's just choosing to be useless. <laughs> so this ME163 is in a fight with me. I'm running away by climbing. Not the smartest thing to do against an ME163. They are really good at climbing, so I, have, I immediately regret, regret the decision and dive down. And let's go far, far away from this ME163 towards our base, because he will have to turn around at some point to get more fuel. It is worth mentioning, the other ME163 uh, did actually turn around to his base before to get more fuel and or ammo, so I'm only fighting this one ME163, not not both of them right now. He is within shooting range, he's firing at me, he's a, he is pretty close, but I, I have to stay as straight as possible while dodging all his shots and being hard to hit, because I need to stay straight to run away from him, my only defense against this guy. It is working. Um, I'm, getting, I'm slowly getting farther away, and then I pull up because I saw that my teammate was behind me, and if I pull up and slow down to zero throttle, I can make this ME163 easy for my teammate to hit. So I use my air brake even to slow down even more, and I'm trying to make myself hard to hit, doing flat scissors, doing rolling scissors, and my teammate is here to save me. So here we go. Uh, full throttle, close the air brake, and let's get going again. Need some speed so I can run away if I need to again from this ME163. Come on, teammate, get this guy for me. I'm being bait. I'm trying to be my best bait I can be. Uh, this guy's really close to rolling scissors. Will that work? Did it work? Do a throttle, air brake, slow down, make him overshoot. It works. He's down low, he's running away. Where is my teammate? My teammate is on him just under me. There you can see him now. This is excellent. Cubo K is at an altitude disadvantage to me, so I can chase him no matter where he goes. And my teammate is also behind him. And my teammate will easily catch him, which is what he does. And he's shooting at him. Cubo K has been critted, and Cubo K is shot down. 
Excellent. So that leaves only one enemy player, Greeno, in his ME-163, and I know that he went to his base to rearm and refuel. So I, I go to my base as well, because I am kind of low on fuel right now. Not so much ammo, not so much ammo, but uh, mainly fuel. I'm down to five minutes of fuel. So I told my team I'm returning to base, and I do return to base. Now it is worth mentioning that as I was taking off after landing at the base, um, Carino actually killed one of my teammates. I, I believe it was the FADC that I was just fighting with, not Kentark, but the other one. And so it, the end result was that Kentark and I were up against this one ME-163, and our third FADC was dead. Now remember I said that the last ME-163 did kill one of our FADC teammates, and so we don't know where this guy is because he, he killed them as I was taking off, and so we go to check the enemy base to see if he's there, and he turns out to be there! Excellent! So Kentaric and I are going after Krino in his ME-163. It is now two shooting stars versus one comet. Who will win? A shooting star or a comet? Space terms! <laughs> So we're going after this guy, he keeps blinking in and out of existence because of the clouds and the way clouds work in this game, and they're kind of buggy. Although they are much better than they used to be, I will give them that. Kentaric seems to be really, really close to the ME-163. In fact, the ME-163 is between Kentaric and I. This is going to be interesting. One of my teammates, uh, I believe the guy in the B-24, who is dead, is telling us, Don't fight him, you idiots! Just wait till he runs out of fuel! But no, I don't want to do that. We have a huge advantage over him. Uh, there's two of us versus one of him, and we can outrun him if we need to, so why not just fight? Worst case, one of us dies, the other one wins the game. That works out fine, but let's go ahead and fight. I want to kill anyway. So here I am, diving on the ME-163. My teammate is being bait, which is excellent. I fire some shots, trying to scare this guy, and he, scare him I do. He turns left off my teammate, and I climb back up to use the speed that I gained in the dive. And, uh, let's see if we can battle this ME-163 now. He takes some shots at my teammate, I don't know if he got any hits or not. I pull open over, diving on the ME-163. Sorta, kinda. I'm not taking too long, game. Shut up. <laughs> Getting closer to the ME-163, and uh, let's see if we can kill him as we dive on him pretty soon here. My teammate is turning. That is not it's what you're supposed to be doing, teammate. Don't do it! You're gonna die if you do that if, if he is really, really good at shooting, which apparently he isn't. Alright, let's shoot some more. Get him to break off my teammate. How dare you chase my teammate? Come on. Okay, if you're not going to break off, I'm just going to spam bullets at you, get some hits, and eventually kill you. And... nope, he's not breaking off, but he's not making it easy for me either. He is doing a lot of maneuvers that I cannot follow in this thing, thanks to the poor roll rate. So I go high, I dive on him again, and let's see what I can do this time. I have already hit him a few times. You're doing a flat scissors on me? Ooh, no you're not. Come on, bullets, hit! Bullets! Come on! <laughs> they didn't hit. Bad bullets. More like bad aim, CMA Supra. So now the ME-163 is on my tail, but because he just got out of a turn, and because I'm diving, and because we're on the deck, he is not catching me. I am easily running away from him. And so this is fine. He breaks off of me to go for my teammate, I believe. Yes, he does go for my teammate. They go head on. I would never have gone head on against the 163. It's not worth it in a shooting star. The shooting star is so much better. And then the ME-163 um, bails. I hate people like that. Crino! It was Crino, right? <laughs> I think it was. But I hate people like that, who just bail and don't give anyone the kill. It's like, we earned the kill. Give us the kill. I even hit you and didn't get the kill. Uh, that's so annoying. But uh, he's defeated, and he's not going to repair in midair. Physically impossible. So that is everybody dead on the enemy team. All that leaves is a few AIs to kill. But before we do that, we do go and destroy some AAA at the enemy base, and then we kill the AIs, and then the game is over. So let's go ahead and go to the ending screen for this game. And here we are. So in that game, I got two aircraft kills, which were both ME-163s, and three ground kills, which were all AAA at the enemy base. 
So from this game, I hope you guys have learned how to counter ME163 comets in FADC Shooting Stars if you did not if you did not already know how. Uh, shooting Stars really seem superior in my opinion. At least every time I've come up against ME163s, I have won because I'm able to make them I'm able to run away from them at the deck and then make them waste their fuel and ammo and have to go crash on the airfield and then they die and it just works out quite well. I actually managed to even kill some ME163s this game, which was awesome as a bonus. But uh, like I said, this strategy seems to work out pretty well against the ME163s, so I like it a lot. Strategy of making them waste them their fuel by running away from them. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and learned how to counter ME163s and maybe even how to fly ME163s against shooting stars, learning what you should do and should not do. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.